Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and I'm here for a very special video. Last week was Shark Week, so as a belated commemorative, I'm going to do a countdown list. I'm going to do the top 10 apex predators. Yep, top of the food chain, baby! Now with these predators, I'm grading them based on these criteria. Power, size of prey, and danger level to humans, all on a scale of one to five. But with no further ado, let's count down the top 10 apex predators. Number 10, the bald eagle, Haliitis leucocephalus. Yup, that's right. Our country's national bird has made my countdown. Now, nobody can make a list of any predators, let alone birds of prey, without at least mentioning the bald eagle because it's such an iconic animal for our country. So... How does the bald eagle fare in the top 10 apex predators? Now, for power, the bald eagle, like all eagles, is perfectly adapted for aerial hunting. Bald eagles have a wingspan of 1.7 to 2.4 meters, or 5.6 to 8 feet. And they don't even flap their wings while they're flying. They just let the air thermals carry them as they soar. Plus, as everyone knows, eagles have amazing vision and can spot prey from miles away. And like all eagles, bald eagles come equipped with powerful talons to grip struggling prey. And they have an additional tool in their arsenal in the form of a highly developed hind toe this is used to slice open prey to reach the soft flesh inside. So, the bald eagle gets a 3 out of 5 for power. And so, the bald eagle gets a 3 out of 5 for power. Now, for prey size. Bald eagles are in the family of eagles known as fish eagles, and so... Fish makes up the bulk of a bald eagle's diet. But they will also feed on small mammals like rabbits and mice and squirrels. So given that they don't bring down large prey, the bald eagle gets a 2 out of 5 for prey size. And how dangerous are these birds to humans? Well, while bald eagles have been known to attack humans, injuries from these attacks are rarely lethal. So, the bald eagle gets a 1 out of 5 for danger level to humans. And so, to recap on this animal's score, power, 3 out of 5, prey size, 2 out of 5, danger level to humans, one out of five. So overall, the bald eagle gets six points on the countdown. Number nine. The grizzly bear, or Ursus arctos horribilis. A subspecies of the brown bear, the grizzly bear is the largest land carnivore in North America with a staggering weight of 150 to 600 kilograms, or 330 to 1,322 pounds. And now it's time to grade the grizzly. Power. The grizzly bear's front legs are immensely powerful, with these legs being thick and strong, and the bear can run much faster than a racehorse. Grizzlies have five shovel-shaped claws on their paws that are perfectly designed for digging and very effective weapons in fights. And the bite force of a grizzly bear is strong enough to crush a bowling ball. And so it gets a five out of five. Prey size. 
Now, it is true that grizzly bears do eat meat. They eat fish and small to large mammals, but only a small percentage of a grizzly's diet is meat. All the rest comes from plants, such as berries. And so because of that, the grizzly bear's score for prey size is two and a half out of five. And finally, danger level to humans. Now, grizzly bears can be very aggressive, especially if a mother feels that her cubs are threatened or if the bear was startled. In fact, the worst bear attacks in the United States were caused by grizzly bears. However, bear attacks are very rare. You're more likely to get stung by a bee than attacked by a bear. Because for the most part, bears try to avoid people but they can become more aggressive when they become habituated to people. And so, it gets a 3 out of 5. So to recap, for power, 5 out of 5. Prey size, 2.5 out of 5. And danger to humans, 3 out of 5. So the grizzly bear's overall score is 10.5. Number 8. The python. Now, although pythons are non-venomous snakes, these snakes are very effective as apex predators. First, let's talk about their power. As I've stated, pythons are non-venomous snakes. However, being constrictors, they rely on their strength to subdue their prey. They wrap their coils around the prey and use asphyxiation to literally squeeze the life out of their prey, and they can unhinge their jaws to swallow prey larger than themselves. And so, the python gets a four out of five for power. Now, as for the size of their prey, pythons mostly prey on small mammals like rabbits and mice, but they can also subdue prey as large as medium-sized antelope or alligators. But they can't consume really, really large prey. So the python gets a 4 out of 5 for prey size. Now, to talk about how dangerous they are to humans, while pythons have constricted humans quite a lot of times, there have only been a few instances where they've actually eaten the humans that they've killed. And so, the grade for danger level to humans is 4 out of 5. And all of this gives the python a total of 12 points. Number 7. The orca. Now, although it's actually a relative of dolphins, the orca has earned its nickname killer whale for good reason. Let's start by talking about their power. Like all cetaceans, orcas are very smart and like other toothed whales, they have jagged teeth to help them slice meat. And they hunt in groups, which is why they're sometimes called the wolves of the sea. All of this earns the orca a five out of five for power. Now, as for the size of their prey, orcas hunt basically anything in the water that moves. Seals, whale calves, even the great white shark is not spared the orca's appetite. So the orca gets another five out of five. Now, as for danger level to humans, while there have been some cases of captive orcas killing their trainers, there has been no known fatal attack on a human by a wild orca. And so the orca gets a 2 out of 5 for danger level. The orca gets a total of 12 points.